Quarantine Kitchen brought to you from my isolation station here in Connecticut. So today we're going to start with the best part, that's the cocktail. This is called a Whisk Me Away Sour. It's just my version of a whiskey sour because I don't like things too sweet. I don't like those syrupy pre-made mixes and you're just not going to believe how easy this is. So in this mason jar, I have the juice of one lemon, one lime, and one orange. And I haven't tasted this yet. Sometimes you don't need any sweetener because the oranges are very sweet, um, but I have no idea. So it'll be a surprise for us both, stand by. Oh yeah, that's gonna need a little. Okay, so to this, we're gonna add one half an ounce of simple syrup. And simple syrup is very versatile. It's one part water to one part sugar. You just put it on the stove, low to medium heat, just until the sugar starts to dissolve. You can infuse simple syrup with lots of different things, herbs, fruit. My favorite is mint during the summer because you can keep some in the refrigerator. You can put it in tea. It makes a very quick mint julep if, you want to, if you're in a hurry. It's also wonderful in mojitos if you don't have time to muddle everything together and you just want a quick mojito by the pitcher even. Simple syrup is awesome. It's my secret bar with it. So, this is very easy. Um, we've got this. We're going to put one ounce of bourbon in. And if you're feeling a little heavy handed and you're very clumsy like I am and you just accidentally get a little bit more in there, it's okay. It's a quarantine kitchen. You don't have to be at work tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm just gonna whirl this around just a little bit and then into the cocktail, we'll put a few little ice cubes. Now I get to do my happy cocktail dance. We're gonna shake it up. Lid comes off. You can stick a straw in it. We are done. In just a moment, we coming back. We're gonna move everything off the counter and I'm gonna bring you my spatchcock chicken. So I'll see you in just a second. Hello and welcome back. We are about to prep the spatchcock chicken. Two great things about it, it's fun to say, and it cooks very quickly and evenly. So this will go and cook for about an hour in the oven. It gives you that nice crispy brown skin, and it's cooked evenly, legs, breast, everything cook at the same time. So the first thing we have to do is remove the backbone of the chicken. So you're just gonna go around the backbone and cut around it. Okay, see how we're just coming right around? Got to put a little muscle into it. Alrighty. Okay, so now that we've gotten the backbone taken out, this is no time to waste anything really. So if you can just set this aside, you can put this in a stock pot with water and vegetables and cook it down for an hour or two and you'll have a delicious chicken stock that you can make soup or use as just a generalized broth, okay? So just set that aside and use that. Now the fun part is we get to break this thing's back. So you gotta put a little muscle into it. You just kinda wanna think of this like a butterfly chicken. You're just splitting it open. So once you've got it down, it's gonna be breast side up and you're gonna put your hands right on it and pop. <laughs> And you'll hear it pop. You'll feel it pop underneath your hands. And it just kind of flattens out. And that's great because that gives us a little bit of room to work. Now I'm going to just stick my fingers under here and pull the skin up just a little bit because we're going to put some spice underneath the skin. And then we want to also take a paper towel and I want to blot all the moisture out of this so that you get a nice crispy skin. Clean hands. Now I can wrap them around my cocktail. Have another little sip. So I have a spice rub here. I'm going to in include this spice rub recipe in the comments below. And the great thing about the spice rub is it is delicious on wings. So this is my go-to. I make a lot of it in bulk and just keep it in a Ziploc bag in my spice cabinet. Um, now when you're working with chicken, you probably are not going to need this much spice rub. 
So I put a spoon in there because I don't want to keep digging my hands in it and contaminating the spice rub. So you can reuse this if you just put a spoon in it so that you're not digging your dirty chicken fingers on back in your spice rub. So what I'm gonna do is take this chicken, I'm putting it in a foil lined pan, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil into the bottom. Now this is gonna cook uncovered in the oven for for about an hour on 425. Now the temperature of your chicken needs to come up to about 165 degrees. If you have a meat thermometer, awesome. Use your meat thermometer and make sure that your chicken is the right temperature. All right, we're gonna lay Mr. Chicken down in the pan. And here we go with the spice rub. So I'm gonna pull the skin up and dab just a little bit and rub underneath there and get it on those chicken breasts. Excellent. Okay, doc, I'm gonna just douse this baby with some suntan oil so he gets a nice tan while he's in the oven. And then one more round of the rub. Okie dokie. That's it and that's all. You're gonna put this baby in the oven to cook for one hour or thereabouts on 425. It's gonna come out with a beautiful skin. In the meantime, I'm gonna put this thing in, let it cook, and I'll be back when it's done. And we're back one hour later. I'm about to grab the chicken. Oh, it's beautiful, it has such a nice tan. With this, you can serve something very simple, a can of green beans, a simple rice pilaf, whatever you have on hand, because let's face it, it's the quarantine kitchen, we can't be too picky. This dish is great, it is hearty enough to stand on its own. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Quarantine Kitchen. Stay safe, stay well, and wash your damn hands. I'll see you guys next time.